We're going to tell you about how Robert Ballard and his team discovered Titanic. At first, Robert Ballard was in the Navy and spotted wreckage from Titanic. After that, he went to his boss and said, why don't you let me go and find the Titanic? But, they, but his boss didn't really let him. So they argued for about an hour or so. And that, then his boss finally said, fine but gave him less time, less stage than any other archaeologist like him. When for they built an, wait, yeah, when they, he rounded, after that he rounded up his crew and set sail. They built an underwater sled, Argo, to search for the ship. This sled took movie pictures of the, of movie pictures. They, what? Nothing. They watched these movie pictures on their ship's video screens. Then, for days, they pulled Argo along above the ocean floor. Then, finally, somebody shouted, Bingo! Argo's cameras had picked up a huge boiler. One person said, There's more stuff coming. They followed the trail of wreckage and finally hit the side of the Titanic. They went over the wreck and then found smokestacks. They followed some more trails of wreckage. Then they hit the back. They then they went up and did some and then the next day they did some more research on the ship. Finally they had everything they wanted to know. And the story of how it sank is on April tenth, nineteen twelve, Titan Wait, no, it one person decided well, the country was very poor, so one person decided to build a, a single ship to take people to America, and they would also get more money because it was because it took so hard, it was so long to take the ship to build the ship. It took so long to build the ship. In fact, it took more than two years to build it. The Titanic was over four say blocks long. Once they got, it, but once they left, they had to go two places, um, England and Southampton. Then they set sail, carrying more than over two thousand people. But then five days later, on April four, four days later, on April fourteenth, nineteen twelve, the captain was getting very many messages. But then he got one that said. Iceberg Ray had hard to starboard. This time, the person who was doing the captain's job, because he was on date, listened. But it was too late. Titanic hit the iceberg. He closed the watertight doors, but they didn't go high enough, so water just went over. Finally, Titanic went a little over 20 feet in the air. Then, one, all the boilers blew, and then Central cord to ride the waves cracked. Everybody f jumped off to try and get a boat, and men and a couple of 200 or 300 got sucked down by a ship. One boat came back to get some people, one out of 16. So then, but but 5, 500 people died. And 700 survived. 1,500 died. 1,500 died. And 700 survived. 700 survived. Sorry. That's okay. And that, and that was how it went. Now we're going to show you. Now we're going to do an, the story of how they found it. Here we go. First, Robert Ballard and their team, Argo, came upon a lot of just scrubs and bushes. They came along the ocean floor for many days, and they were running out of time. So far, they had just came around shrubs, bushes, sea urchins, fish, 
any underwater creature that is normally there. Nothing unnatural. Although they had be they had come up upon very strange pieces of man made structures that they thought were possibly part of the Titanic. They continued around the areas where they found the rust and other other man-made objects. It had been told that Titanic had split in half. Not many people believed this because they didn't think that a ship of this size could split in half as easily as people had told. Soon the debris and other objects started to get much bigger. So they thought that they were coming across something. Finally, after many days of searching, they came across Titanic. And and spots. And holes in the bottom. They came across the top and then they saw the giant hole at the end. The survivors were right. Titanic had broken in half. They were, all the survivors were now right. They continued around to try to find the other half because that was still a mystery of where it was. They kept going along and found more parts of debris, such as smokestacks and boilers and ropes and wires that had belonged to Titanic. Many gouges in the ocean floor they suspected were caused by when the Titanic fell or sank into the water. Then they came upon other segments that had belonged to the ship, just small parts such as this one. Robert Ballard's team were extremely eccentric about the found find that they've made. They had done it. They had found Titanic. After 75 years, someone had finally found Titanic, and now more studies could be done on why it sank and other things. You can see what made the hole. You can see inside the passage somewhat. They kept searching. But they were worried they wouldn't find the back of the ship. They kept finding small things of debris. Finally, they found it. The back end of Titanic. They could tell that the back had more damage than the front because of the... The masts had been more severely damaged. You can barely tell that the back was even part of the Titanic because of all the damage. The many there are very large gaping holes in the back of the Titanic. In some parts, you can see the engines. After finding Titanic, they sent small robots into to explore. They found the grand staircase and cabins that people had stayed in. They were very successful in the finding of the Titanic, and studies were still being shown on the Titanic 
and other ships and why it sank and how it did. I'm Hadley and my brother Hayden. We love the Titanic and ship artifacts. Thank you for watching. And the wreckage wasn't actually a part of this. We collect shipwrecks artifacts and we took the rust off and sprinkled it. Yeah, we, um, this, these, this is an actual Titanic. This is a di underwater display. Thank you.